hey guys welcome to my channel thank you so much for tuning in thank you for coming by today we're going to be chatting i know you guys um some of you follow this channel because of my background i used to be a message believer of which i have left it's been a year since i've left the message and i just thought i should let you know that i left and i'm not part of the message anymore and if you decide to unfollow this channel i will completely understand and i won't take it against you and if you want to stick around well it would be nice to have you around so i just want to let you know that i left the message and i'm no longer part of that anymore and <laughs> The message is basically what the people who believe uh, William Branham that he was the seventh messenger basically Elijah who is supposed to come according to Malachi 4 so that's the church that I used to go to for about 15 years and um, last year around February and the 12th of February actually was my last end time message service so it's been a year now and i felt i should just say it i should just speak about it and speak out about it because i feel more comfortable now like when i left i was in all sorts of places i wasn't really well i suffered from insomnia i suffered from a kind of depression i was very depressed because i had believed this message for 15 years i need to mention why i left the message the reason why i left is um i found out through reading and also questioning some of the things that were happening that no this can't be ordained by god this can't be proper and for me being uh, someone who has always been an avid reader of the bible like even from a young age so remember my dad bought me a bible when i was still in grade four and i've been reading the bible ever since such that reading the bible it's something that i do even now i do every day so some of the things that were that were happening i just thought no 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 this can't be it like for example the fact that they are failed prophecies that this person who claimed to be a prophet actually said and he said that saith the lord and so many times in his preachings in his prophecies he used to say that saith the lord never fails actually the the message people have an, they have a song for that <laughs> that um that saith the lord never fails and yes definitely that saith the lord never fails but he has got lots of failed prophecies and for me when i started questioning actually when um when i was looking at his son billy paul his son is very old and he said in one of his prophecies that uh, Billy Paul, my son, you won't be an old man before Los Angeles sings. And that at that time, he was a young man, definitely. But now he's old. He's Then when I was looking at it, he was 82. Yeah, I think he was 82. 83, someone there. He's an old man. Like, come on. 82 and 83. That's old, according to me. And I'm sure you know definitely that that is old. And Los Angeles is not under the sea so that's a failed prophecy and the bible says if someone claims to be a prophet and they say something that doesn't come to pass don't fear him he's not a prophet he has spoken presumptuously so that was the first thing that actually got me thinking that look here yeah, i need to look at this thing some more because this is not adding up and the other thing that got me um that got me questioning was um the egg-shaped cars apparently there was a newspaper article actually that said this is a concept car and it's going to wait for this and that i think they're waiting for the roads or something can't remember but yeah it was a concept car back before 1933 and so this guy literally read something from a newspaper and then presented it to the people who were ignorant of the fact that this thing was in the newspaper and said it was a prophecy which wasn't it was after the fact when I started researching a little bit more, that's when I noticed that there are so many things. Like, what I was questioning about, it was uh, just the surface. Because I could brush that off easily to say, okay, it's probably just one mistake. And then that's it. But the cloud, he wasn't there. Even his daughter mentioned that he wasn't there. He wasn't where that cloud was happening. No. He wasn't there. 
it was there a week or two later i think not before later so you start thinking okay so this person preached and said god was coming to talk to him an angel was coming to give him the opening of the seven seals and yet he wasn't there there's no opening of the seven seals that any angel or whoever was supposed to be coming to talk to him every day it wasn't there this guy was literally studying clarence larkin's books <laughs> like if you look at it do your own research i would recommend that you do your own research because even for me i had to do my own research i didn't just read from these websites that many are blamed i didn't just read from them and then all of a sudden i'm like i don't believe the message anymore no i searched and said sometimes i used to even do all nights of researching like binge researching on what this thing is and i wanted to get at the bottom of it because i believed this thing for 15 years it was my life like my adult life started in the message and when i found out when i found out that it was all a scam it was all a lie you know like my life crumbled completely i got sick i wouldn't get well i would be on this and that antibiotics and whatever the case may be i wouldn't get well and sometimes i still remember when i was telling my husband my whole body is just so my whole body i don't have a flu i don't have my head is not aching my tummy is not so i don't get hurt anyway but my whole body is just so like my whole world crumbled because this is what was normal to me and now it was a scam it was fake it was a situation whereby um those who let's say you invest in a scam and you invest your life savings which is basically what you have in life and you invest everything you mortgage your house to it and everything is invested in that and then you realize 15 years later that is a scam you've been cultivating it you've been living your life looking towards that thing and then you realize 15 years later that it is a scam you can imagine what happened i was devastated i cried i started even uh, a journal it was difficult very very difficult i was angry yeah that's why i can only um I record this now because now I think I am looking at it. I'm looking at it in a better light. And um, my husband actually said, "Look here, you can't be angry at the message people." Because I was angry at the message people. Yes, I was angry at them. And then it was like, "No, you can't be angry at the message people because there is much a victim as you are." They didn't create this. Yes, they have perpetuated it, like perpetuated it so, so much, such that sometimes you can't even recognize the similarities between what William Branham, him being a scam, preached and what the message is now. Some of them have even added their own rules to it. Like, hey, we don't do this, we don't wear high heels, we don't wear this, we don't do that. And some of the things are just... you human and uh, man-made laws they're not god's laws but yeah so i was very angry and i think some of that was also because of the response that i got from my close friends you understand hey i lost my friends like 15 years of living in this message you were told you're not supposed to be friends with anyone who doesn't go to the message so you basically have your circle of friends in the message if you leave the message You've lost your friends because they're not supposed to be talking to you. And as much as I still have some friends who still talk to me, we are not as close anymore. We're not, we're not as close as we used to be because they're not supposed to be talking to me anyway. So they are trying to keep the distance. And we're told that unless they influence you. So I'm sure they're scared that I'll influence them. My friends, the ones that I told or the ones that heard about it and came to question me, were very angry to the extent of even um, spelling evil <laughs> and say hey bad luck is going to happen why did you do this how can you backslide you out of all people that why did it have to be you i mean you're my 
my friend and now you're backslidden and all that kind of stuff and some won't even talk to me and I'm fine with that and I knew it was gonna happen because that's what happened we were told right on the pulpit pastor would mention that don't talk to them don't go to their house don't visit them no so yeah I expected that what made me stop going to the message like made me say look here but at, for some time I was like no I'll just keep going and then I will just believe what I believe because leaving the message was a big risk my kids were born in the message the message is what they know my oldest is now 15 the message is all he knows I didn't want to confuse them and leaving the message was like I'm going to disrupt my kids and what am I going to tell them that your parents lived a lie or believed a lie all these years we believed a lie that's what you're going to tell them no i'm not going to leave the message i'm going to keep on going to church and i want to serve the lives of my kids and i'll just believe what i believe which is what some of my friends even told me like no man we don't believe that we don't believe that much no 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 we just in a church and we know that we believe in christ this william Branham thing Mm -mm. as long as we go to church and we don't want to disrupt our lives so for me I don't want to disrupt my kids life I don't want to disrupt my family life my life as well so I had intended on staying in the message anyway but at the time the pastor at the message that I used to go to was like um, I didn't believe this message because of the cloud cloud or not cloud William Brennan there or not there I believe the message anyhow I didn't believe the message because there were two men or 16 men or 18 men that fell on that bridge, the municipal bridge. William Branham apparently said there, was, there were going to be 16 men who were going to die and then only two men died. So he was like, I don't believe, I don't believe the message because of that. I don't care about that. I believe the message anyhow. And I was like, no man, I care about that. I care. If I think a man is a prophet, he should measure up and it should be biblical. Why else I'm going to believe in every person that raises up and says, I'm a prophet, look here, I'm a prophet. So I said, no, 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 I care. And I care too much to ignore that. So I was like, then that's when I told my husband, I was like, I don't think it works for me to keep on going to church, to this church. The message, ish, that thing, it screws up your mind. I'm telling you, <laughs> it does. And I still remember even this pastor was like, these people, they are busy criticizing William Branham and his message, but they're not offering an alternative. Come on. The alternative is Jesus Christ. That's the alternative. That's the origin. That has been perverted for so many years. It's not even the alternative. That's where people are supposed to be. And they were like, hey, they are finding fault with the message. There's so many faults in the in the in the in the in the Bible anyway so they're gonna be atheists then I was like okay you are screwing my mind and I still remember I was like I can't sit under the preaching of this guy not now I don't think ever because you are literally saying if you leave the message you become an atheist and that's not why I came to the message so that you can turn me into an atheist so that it's either this or nothing no 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 the message of William Branham is not Christianity. Christianity stands on its own and it prevails without William Branham. William Branham tried to pervert it, but it didn't succeed. Who saw the scam that he was and left the message completely. And so that's when I was like, no, I can't do this. I can't do this. So this other time I was driving from work. And then I was like, no man, you should remain in the message. Your kids, your family, and people who have always looked up to you to say that you're in the message. I don't believe that God does something just for the sake of doing it. So I was like, why would God reveal this information about William Branham to me? Because the internet has always been there. It's always been there in my life. And people have been saying things about William Branham and I used to just brush them off. But in his time, God revealed this information and he made me to care enough to research. Say, so look here, these people can't be just talking and talking and talking. Let me research and if I'm going to believe William Branham as the messenger of the seventh age, whatever age we are in now, but they say it, uh, a generation is about 40, 40 years, yeah? So whatever, William, whatever I'm going to believe, I want to believe on it after researching 
and see the different sides of the coin. So I was like, okay, why did God reveal this information to me if I'm not supposed to use it? If I'm supposed to just say, hey, now... Because now I know so many things that William Branham said which were not true. So many things. These prophecies which failed, which he said after the fact, probably he read the newspaper or something, or in a science journal or something like the Sinking of Los Angeles. So many things that he said that were not true. And his extra biblical teachings that were not true. So I was like, okay, why did God reveal this information to me? And for me to just brush it off. And if I die today, say I was actually driving then, say I have an accident now, and then I die. Will I be able to answer God that I didn't want to disrupt my life? I didn't want to disrupt the life of my kids? That's the reason why I kept on congregating with people that are definitely in a cult. That don't put you first, but put William Branham first. That read William Branham's messages, then they read the Bible. Was I going to be able to do that? And when the answer was no, I knew what to do. I knew I couldn't take it any longer. I couldn't push it any longer. I couldn't keep on doing the thing that I was doing any longer. I had to change. And if I was going to keep my life, preserve my life, and not follow the word of God, that was going to cost me eternal life. And I don't want to do that. I don't want to take that chance. So I left. I left. And that's the reason why I left. Anyways, I just thought I should tell you about this. And thank you so much for coming. Thank you so much for watching. I know I'm going to get a backlash for this video. I'm prepared for it. But I had to say it. I had to come clean so that you don't start wondering what's what is she doing like are you i've already had questions with like are you still in the message and all that kind of stuff no i'm not in the message anymore and i think you should know about it thank you so so much for watching thank you for coming by don't forget choose to be happy god bless you bye